Hi there. So in this video, my group and I are going to demonstrate how multiple choice questions and breakout rooms uh, could be connected during a synchronous meeting or a class. All right. So welcome everybody. Uh, we have just finished our check-in. So each person just took a turn uh, saying how they were doing a good thing or a bad thing or, or people could have passed. Uh, and so what we're going to do right now is uh, get into some of the ways we can uh, work on facilitating sessions. So I'm going to share my screen with you to make sure you can see this part. Okay, so what I'll ask you to do is to uh, answer individually here and we want to explore in this question what the two best ways are to ask a multiple choice question during a video conference, which might be a meeting or a synchronous session of some sort or a class. Um, and so I'll ask you to go over to menti.com to do that. And the code is written there on the screen and it's 750477. And we'll take about three minutes to do that. Okay, so thanks for that. And so as we're looking at the different answers uh, that were given, um, we see a bit of a spread in answers, although no one has said uh, raised hands and no one has said any kind of annotating in Zoom. Okay, so we're going to use those answers that you've given now um, toward the next part of our discussion. And so now we're going to be looking at a discussion of what the pros and cons are of each of those methods. And so I'll ask you to do this time in a breakout room of about three people. Um, and I'll ask you to assign a facilitator who has the earliest first name in the alphabet, just to make sure everybody has a chance to participate and you know welcome people into the conversation. Um, and the person with the last first name in the alphabet, if you can be the reporter, so if you can take down notes and you know if you really don't want to do that, you can ask somebody else to do that job. And so what I'd like you to do in, in there, always optional, um, first is to clarify what each of those methods is or does that was on the screen. Um, create a short list of pros and cons for each method, and then summarize your discussion for reporting back. And now let's stop sharing and make those breakout rooms. Breakout rooms, three participants per room, perfect. So I will invite you to go into those rooms and have that discussion now. All right. So as people are in those, so they're in the breakout rooms right now, they can call if they have any questions about anything. Um, if I want to, I can broadcast a message to everybody. So I'll give them, uh, you know, kind of a two minute warning uh, once we're, I'm ready to call them back in. When I close the rooms, they'll have 60 seconds to come back. And that's a setting you can change if you ever wanted to change the amount of time they had to come back. The other thing we can do is we can join any of these rooms, either when they call us or just because we want to drop in, see what's what's going on, just listen to how things are going uh, to see what's what's happening in the different rooms. So let's pop into a room and see how things are going. The list of all the methods in the chat. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Did I get all of them or am I missing one? I think you're missing one. Mm. Uh, oh, annotate on Zoom. Yeah. All right. So let's go through each and uh, put, you can use text, I think you can annotate. Um, and then when you annotate, just put text as to why you think those methods are good or bad. I'm gonna start with Menti and I'm gonna say a pro is that um, it can be anonymous. Um, can we actually write on this too? Cause I can't annotate for some reason. Oh, you can't annotate? Um, you have to ask for annotation, I think. I don't think you have to ask. You just yeah. Romeo. You to okay, perfect. I can just write it for everyone. Romeo, have you found the options there? If you go to the view yeah. options and then to annotate? It worked. Super. So I'm still alone in the main session. I'm just going to broadcast a message to everybody. So two minutes left. I can move people from room to room if I want to. I can recreate rooms as a session goes on as well, if that's something I wanted to do. All right. So let's give them. So now if I close this room, all breakout rooms will close in 60 seconds. And they've been given that announcement as well. 
Hello, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Was that anybody's first time getting whooshed out of a breakout room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find it's the strangest feeling. Like you might be mid sentence, something whoosh, you're going off. You go back to the main session. <laughs> All right, thanks for doing that. Um, so I wonder if we might have one of the groups um, share back what they had done. So I wonder, uh, maybe Group One, do you want to share what you were working on there? Um, sure. So uh, what we did was we put up a whiteboard uh, that everyone could annotate, which uh, everyone would put their pros and cons for every method that we uh, that was being discussed. And then uh, towards the end, we started discussing which pros and which cons were what we thought um, more important in a way, so that we could uh, land on probably what we believe was the best way to ask the multiple choice question. It's very interesting. <laughs> awesome. And so the conversation went on uh, with the group from here to talk about the different pros of cons of ways of asking multiple choice questions. So please feel free to watch the rest of that discussion if you'd like in part B of this video. Um, just to summarize the things that you've seen so far in this video, uh, when we came in, you'd seen uh, first we had just finished wrapping up a check-in, so each group member uh, took, you know, about a sentence or two just to say how things were going. Positive, negative, a thing, an emotion, or pass. Um, we then looked at menti as a way to ask a multiple choice question, uh, although we saw other ways that that could be done as well. Uh, and then you saw the discussion of the pros and the cons uh, through breakout rooms. So a few tips. Um, to help things go smoothly as you're asking these kinds of interactive questions. First, to the extent that you can, uh, set things up ahead of time. It's not absolutely required. Certainly you can set things up on the fly, but it's helpful. Have written simple instructions with a maximum of, of three steps. Uh, either put the instructions in the chat before creating the breakout rooms or uh, ask participants to copy the instructions for themselves before going into the breakout rooms uh, just so they can have that, that cue of what, what they need to be doing and they go in there. Consider things like class size, question type, the nature of the question you're asking when deciding on the method, um, and think about the goals you're getting. Are, are you trying to help students uh, get to certain intended learning outcomes? Um, are you trying to get uh, make a plan for something else? So really think about the outcome that you're looking for and then design the, the, the questions or the activity as a function of those goals that you have. I hope that's helpful.